Hey YouTube, it's Maker Steve. Uh, we got a uh, printer that is starting to uh, clog up um, the uh, prints are coming out brittle um, they're not uh, layers aren't fully connected to one another kind of hairy um, you'll see it happen after you run quite a bit of material through a hot end um, with a creality can be caused by a couple of things um, the Teflon tubing or PTFE could be backing out uh, creating a uh, basically a plug so when it retracts it doesn't have uh, enough flow to fill that void back up basically between the nozzle and the PTFE there's a gap so if you have any gap between the PTFE and the nozzle you're going to create a plug in there the width of uh, the throat of the hot end and that's going to cause some troubles so we're going to go through and we're going to raise this thing up i've already preheated it so i put my elevation uh, or z-axis uh, up high enough that I could get a uh, wrench underneath or a socket um, to get the uh, nozzle off. I got a couple of tools that I'm going to have with me. I've got the little wrenches. I've got a, a socket. This one happens to be six millimeter. Um, I've got some PTFE tubing I'm going to use to remove any plug that's in there. And I've got a razor blade and my trusty PTFE cutter that sometimes doesn't cut straight. <clears throat> so, and I've also got a new uh, 0.4 millimeter nozzle that we'll put on there. So the first thing we want to do is get this nozzle off. Make sure your hot end's hot or you can do damage to your printer. We'll shove some of this through just to make sure we clear any blockage. We'll clip it off. There is uh, definitely some thickness there, so that suggests we, we do have a gap in there. I'll pull this back and through. So now the uh, filament is up in the PTFE um, three or four inches, and we will take off the top pressure connector. with our big end of our provided wrench that came with our Creality printer. Um, you want to be careful as you do this not to upset your wiring too much. Um, the wiring seems to be thin and, and kind of cheap and uh, if you wiggle it too much you'll break. You can also break the solder points on your fan. So if you can do it with your uh, fingers that's fine. And we are there. And then you're just going to pull your PTFE out and it might not want to come freely. So this is kind of what I expected. Um, you can see some material has gotten past the nozzle and it's stuck on the PTFE. So we're going to shove this back a little bit and uh, I'm going to opt for a razor blade right along the rail. I'm just going to apply some pressure and snip that and make sure it's square and clean. Now, a lot of times there's stuff stuck inside of there and you won't see it even though you cleared the nozzle and even though you pulled it out. So I'll take some PTFE, I'll run down and I'll just shove this through and lo and behold, 
there was a booger in there waiting for me that was about two million till two millimeters thick so it's definitely been doing that uh, I usually do this a couple of times and I make sure that my PTFE is coming out clear now I've got my new nozzle I start it with my fingers if I can hang on to it and that hot end's hot and it will uh, get going pretty quick as far as getting that brass hot so you want this tight but not so tight that you torque the uh, hot end and now we are ready to put this back in so what I typically do is I get her down to flush with that I start it with my fingers and I, I think what's going on is the pressure connectors from Creality aren't um, top-notch uh, I've ordered some Capricorn we'll put that in I, I ordered a two meter set and it'll do a couple printers with PTFE fittings and we'll see if those do any better um, but since this is what I got right now I'm gonna just get it back to printing so we tighten this guy back up so it stops And then, one more little bit. then we have to, uh, in one swift motion, shove the PTFE down so it seats with the nozzle. Now, remember, it's going in there a good inch and change. Um, so, with all that being done, we can put the push the filament back through and if we're doing it right we're going to get a nice continuous stream of plastic that looks pretty good to me and then we'll pull back a little bit and make sure it starts again smoothly because that's what your retraction will do looks pretty good mount our filament sensor clean up our hot end at this point we retram it or level it um, and we can get back to printing uh, so I figured since I was doing this I'd show you how I do it I've got to do it to each printer uh, on occasion some go longer than others um, sometimes it's a month sometimes it's uh, three or four days it really has to do with this PTFE I think and backing out and I'm um, going to look for some better pressure connectors uh, and see if I can solve that for good. It's maybe the quality of the PTFE or the Teflon tubing. So with that, I'm going to leave you and we'll see you next time.